Welcome back. This is Behind the Eye of Odin. I'm your host, Eric. And the last rune in the Futh arc is Degaz. The reason I say that Degaz is the last rune in the Futh arc is that as I see it, and you guys are allowed to disagree with me all you want, I'm not going to be offended, but as I see it, Degaz is the part in the cycle where you reach the end and the beginning at the same time. So, Degas is a leap of faith, a breakthrough, and a fulfillment all at the same time. So, the first step part of Degas is, um, you, it's a very cyclical rune to me, and you either make an understanding, you go, oh my god, and you realize something, and then you can take the first step toward it, which would bring you into Burkana, or you, you make, you've already made that realization, and you take a leap of faith to begin a new process, in which case you're moving directly into Burkana from there. Well, one of the things that Degas is concerned with is realization, as I've already overstated at this point. The realization of the path ahead of you, the realization of the next step in your in your path, or the realization that comes, you know, the clarity that comes through realization. That's that's also a part of it. So Degas is at the end of a process. You understand it. You have it clear in your mind. You know how it works. At the same time, it is taking that knowledge and running with it. You, you go, I, I get it, and you you go. Go with it. So, that's Degas. Degas is very much about understanding, realization, clarity through, or realization through clarity, clarity of thought through understanding. And even though I'm rambling here, I'm, I'm hoping that you're getting all of the information here as to why, personally, I think Degas comes at the end is because the realization and the understanding is hopefully the outcome. Hopefully the outcome is gaining more knowledge and gaining more information and gaining more understanding so that you can then go and start new somewhere else and apply that information and that knowledge and that experience to other parts of your life. Now guys, I've had a really, really good time doing these videos, and I don't want to get all sappy and everything, but I'm really glad, glad that you guys have, have been here with me for this, and I'm going to keep posting stuff on this channel, uh, especially when it comes to rune working and some of the stuff that, uh, that, that I'm learning along the way. I'm learning along with you guys just, just as much as you're learning with me. And I'd, I'd really like to continue this. I have, I have no intention on, on deleting this channel or, or anything like that. But, you know, I'm, this is the end of the Futh arc. Uh, one thing is, uh, I do have some information on the blank rune, which is the Ralph Bloom specific information on the blank rune because there isn't anywhere else. And I don't personally use it in my own practice or in any of my own reading, but if enough of you actually want me, let me know. You know, just post comments. I'll read through the comments every couple of weeks or so. If enough of you really do want me to do information on the blank rune, I'll be more than willing to give you what I've got. It won't be a very long video, but if enough people want to hear it, then I'll, I'll do another video. Uh, my videos are going to be pretty sporadic from here until you know, I, I post my last. I'm not going to post any more video, which it's inevitable. We're all going to move on from this eventually. Uh, not necessarily YouTube, but I expect that you guys are not going to want to watch everything I post from now until eternity. And uh, I don't expect that, that that's going to be a terrible interest for anyone. So. Guys, um, one more time, I would just like to thank you for watching this and all my other videos, 
And I've had a great time. Thank you for watching. And until we meet again, everyone, Odin be with you. It is you.